gave his disciples many commands. Love one another. Go into the whole world. Receive the Holy Spirit. But in today's gospel passage, he gives a command that doesn't seem to make much sense. When he sent his disciples out, Jesus told them to wear sandals. Telling them to not carry an extra tunic makes some sense if he wants them to live simply. But why tell them to make sure they have their footwear on? Surely there must be more important things to be said. Many people go through life without ever wearing shoes. Feet can be tough. Through most of our evolutionary past, we were all barefoot. It's only in extreme situations that we really need footwear. Ice fields, coal mines, city sidewalks. The shoe that says what shoeness is all about may be the steel-toed boot of the construction worker. Protection. That's what shoes are. Protection for our feet as we go about our tasks. Protection for the sake of a task may be the reason the Lord tells us to make sure we're properly shod when going forth to share the good news. Our vocation as Christians is the most vital in the world. Billions of our brothers and sisters live without knowing the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Those men and women have the right to know that. And the way God has chosen to give them that good news is the church, you and me and all the disciples of Christ in every land and time. That is an urgent task, and nothing should interfere with it. On a stroll from Jerusalem to Jericho, a thorn in the foot might be an inconvenience. In the spread of the gospel, the delay is disastrous. Our life as Christians is that urgent, that important to the world. I am essential to the world, and my life as a Christian is too important to the world for me to be sidetracked by sore feet. So the Lord says, wear sandals. Can that really be the case? Am I really that important to this world? Appearances, inclinations, and desires to the contrary notwithstanding, it is true. I am essential to the life of the world. I'm one of the heralds of the gospel, whether at home or on the road. My mission is too important to let any problems or concerns of my own, the emotional, social, or even spiritual versions of thorns in the foot, sidetrack me. It's hard to believe that God is relying upon me when I thought I was supposed to rely upon God. But that's the case. God needs me, needs us, to bring the good news to a world waiting unawares for it. So Jesus tells us to wear our shoes, ready to go forth and ready to be ready. That means more than just wearing Birkenstocks, Nikes, or Pradas. It means I should be aware of possible obstacles to living my mission and make provision for them. Do I lack the words to put my faith into ways others will understand? Study the Word of God and the message of the Church. Do I lack confidence in myself? Unite with the community of believers in worship and sacrament. Am I a sinner? Repent, confess, and receive forgiveness. Am I unsure of the way? Serve. Am I afraid? Pray and keep moving. Perhaps that is the real message of Jesus in commanding his disciples to wear sandals. Keep moving. Keep being ready to move. Your message, your life is too important for the world for delay.